decent practice uh, tonight. Uh, pretty good practice. Uh, hopefully it will continue to be encouraging and hopefully we'll play our best come Thursday night. But uh, guys are picking up their energy a little bit. I'm sure North Carolina is also. So uh, it should be a heck of a game. John Walton didn't practice tonight, look like John him. Walton says he's back sore. Jarrell Adams hadn't practiced in three days. I doubt if Jarrell will start now. Uh, we'll see how he feels Thursday night. But he hadn't practiced the last three days. So uh, we got, I was just thinking we got three tight ends. All three of them are freshmen and two of them are walk-ons. Right. And they're going to play the whole ball game Thursday night probably. And they'll play their ass off. They're good ones. They, they're good players. Dan August and Mark Way and uh, Hayden Hurst, yeah, all three of those kids. So we're sort of young at tight end, but they're good players and they'll scrap. Is it unusual for you to have so many uh, walk-ons on offense in prominent positions on the depth chart? It is unusual a little bit. Uh, and, uh, you know, sometimes in recruiting, I guess you make mistakes or some of those guys have gotten hurt or whatever. Uh, but I think one thing is known as that we give walk-ons a ch chance. Yeah. They know they can earn a scholarship here if they're good enough. So uh, uh, we think they're good enough, so we're going to find out. Okay. Now, Hurst, I, Hurst is a freshman, but obviously he's, mm -hmm. he's been two years playing minor league baseball. I know. He's, so he's sort of an older guy. Yeah, he's That's 20. Has maturity sort of he's, shown through in the practice. Well, he still doesn't know where to go half yeah. the time. Yeah. And yeah. He yeah. hasn't yeah. played football in three years. Yeah. So, uh, But he tries, and uh, he's got some ability. So, uh, heck, he may start right now. He may yeah. start. Yeah, he showed up in uh, June or July. When did he show up? July? Maybe it's July. I didn't know anything about him. Steve okay, found Perry. him down in Jacksonville. He knows he had, Perry uh, well. Yeah, he knows Perry. He's from Jacksonville. Went to Bowles High School. Yeah. Played the minor league ball a couple yeah. of years. Said he wanted to go to college. And uh, so we found out about him. He's a walk-on. They in his own way. We had a scholarship. He, he'll probably win one soon. <laughs> but uh, we usually give him a semester before they do it. Yeah. Well, who does Connor uh, remind you of that you've had in South Carolina? I mean, is he, is he like a Dylan Thompson, or is he more like a Garcia? Well, let's or let is him go play. Let's let uh, Connor Mitch go play. He, 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 was, he was pretty good tonight. Uh, made good decisions, and that's, that's what he's got to do. Just make good decisions, throw it where he's supposed to, get rid of it, and uh, hopefully pass protection will hold up. Uh, so we'll see. Well, speaking of pass tell. protection, how do you like Mason Zandy's progress? Well, we had not played a game yet. Okay. Hadn't played a game, so he'll need to prove himself Thursday night, as will so many other players who've never played. But we think he, he can do it, so we'll find out. Are you careful? Coach, you talked about the intangibles with Connor Mitch when you mm -hmm. first made the decision, mm -hmm. the leadership qualities. Have you seen him exhibit those leadership? I think he's been a little sharper. He's a quiet guy. We, we don't need a lot, a lot of rah-rah out here. Pharaoh is a tremendous leader. He doesn't say anything. Uh, yeah, we believe in leading by example. If you hustle every play, do your assignment well. Uh, you're a pretty good leader. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see as we go. We're, we're still as we go. What, so, what are your, your emotions like here a couple of days from the game? I mean, are you, are you a little uptight? Are you relaxed? How would you well, describe normal, yourself? Well, normal. Uh, a little different uh, than last year. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're more anxious to see what we got. We thought we had a lot last year. We ended up not having that much in certain areas. But uh, so we've hopefully been awakened. Uh, from one year to the next. But again, we got to go play and find out what we're all about. As I'm sure North Carolina is probably saying a similar thing. Okay. Coach all right, Amber. Good how's, seeing you. How's Jared Washington doing? Jared's doing pretty well. A uh, doctor guy said, uh, you know, he had just a clean break in the bone and uh, fixed it up. They put a little pin, rod, whatever they call it in there. He said he could actually be back by the middle of this season, possibly. Uh, so a broken bone he can heal very well. A lot better than a torn up knee, and it was not a. It was just very unfortunate. He sort of got bumped and landed wrong, and uh, we, I wish he hadn't got bumped. But sometimes that happens out here. But uh, he, he'll be fine in time. We'll probably redshirt him, uh, so uh, he needs to get a little thicker, a little more muscle on him. Uh, but he's a wonderful young man and, and tries as hard as he can, does everything we ask. All right, all right. Let's get out of here. It's getting late.